Hello, you join me at Greenwood Park, where, as you can see behind me, is Toys R Us. And as you can see, it's on its last breath before it leaves us forever. Here is when I started going to the planning products. And it's just sad to see it go. A piece of my childhood is being taken away. Thanks to online retailers like Amazon. That Toys R Us could no longer find They tried to have a company um, buy them. Doing that closing down sale before they leave. Now I'll be entering it for the last time. Here we are. Hello, I'm back from Toys R Us in the Deepdale Retail Park in Preston. Thanks to them, I have now completed my third collection. And that is the main six are Sea Ponies. Because now I have Pinkie Pie. And Applejack, which I will unbox later and put them onto the rest of the gang. And here they are. Thank you, bye. And Applejack. And as you can see, I did it in pattern form. Pegasi, Unicorn, Earth Pony. Pegasi, Unicorn, Earth Pony. That's my collection of my sea ponies. And when I say third, I mean, remember these? This is the first collection that was formerly on my living room. But I had to move them because Rarity, who was below my radiator, kept falling off. <laughs> A valuable lesson if you're uh, hanging toys from glued hooks, don't put them on top of radiators because the heat of the radiator will eventually melt the glue that holds the hook and eventually will make your display fall. I also went to the one in Blackburn, in Toys R Us that is, I went to the one in Blackburn as well and I found the 
I found Twilight Sparkle with Tempest and Spike, or the, the, the glittery one. But it was still too much. It was 19.99 still, and I couldn't get that. Yes, I have three collections complete, but I have a lot more collections that I have not finished yet. And that is the Guardians of Harmony, the Bow Collection, My Little Pony Friends Collection, and the Power Ponies. Since I have sea ponies, I started to ponder because now Hasbro are selling the sea ponies again, but upgraded slightly, slightly upgraded because this time they have liquid on them. And what you do is you turn them upside down and the liquid goes in towards the, the head and then when you turn it upright again the liquid pours down. Now I'm starting to think should I collect them as well? At the moment I'm thinking no because the liquid doesn't seem clear enough you know, it doesn't, because I, I, I've seen the Twilight Sparkle version and that liquid is so clear, it's really purple like, like she is and when you put all the liquid up on, you know, on her head side um, it all turns white, but then when you turn her upright all her purple liquid goes back into her body that's not like that with the other ones because I've seen the Pinkie Pie version and it just looks like water but not really dyed water. It's not as clear. It's not as, you know, purple as Twilight. I mean, if you want pink liquid for Pinkie Pie, make it pink, not, not like cheap pink where you could just put like little dye and it's just like water and I've seen that with Rainbow Dash as well Rainbow's got the same treatment so at the moment I'm thinking no I'm not gonna collect that because I've got my sea ponies right here and I would have got the giant ones as well with the glittery eyes because they're really cute to look at they're really good they're really really good to look at uh, but again, they're, they're way too overpriced to um, collect them all. So I think I'm going to stick to my the the sea ponies that I've got now, and hopefully wait for some more My Little Pony collectibles when they come out. Well, everyone. Thank you so much for viewing my T-Log special about the farewell to Toys R Us. And do share your memories with Toys R Us on my page. Com comment your memories of Toys R Us if you can. Because it would be nice to read your memories of Toys R Us. I mean, it's not only me that's sad that Toys R Us is leaving us. It, it was the style of our childhood. You know, it was the treat that we had growing up, you know. Can we go to Toys R Us? Can we go to Toys R Us? <sighs> Alright, we can go to Toys R Us. Yay! Guess what? We're going to Toys R Us. Yay! Those were the days. <laughs> so to repeat what I said earlier, my memory is when I was growing up in Germany, I bought 
model cars back then, you know, because I was a car person. Uh, so that's what I did basically. I, I found a, um, some cars that I bought from them, like for instance, Honda S two thousand. I bought I bought that from there. And going to the one in the retail park now. That is where I got my little pony. I got my little pony to um, toys and cards and stuff. And I also bought Littlest Pet Shop merchandise as well. When that was on our TV screens. And that store was also the store where I bought to kneel with his thinking pose and I gave that to Peter New who voices who voiced Sunil Nebula when it was on and he displays it on this shelf which I call the Sunil shelf So everybody, thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to end this tea log like I do with all my tea logs by saying bro hoof and goodbye. There's a magical place, we're on our way there. With toys in the millions all under